test plans are useful when you have a consistent set of test cases you want to perform regularly. For example, if you are going to be testing software for regression every single time you're planning an update, you would want to have a plan for that so that instead of handpicking those cases every single time, you have an already available list of test cases you want to perform. Let's create a plan and see what that looks like. After giving a description, proceed to add a set of test cases. It can be an entire suite, or it can just be one test case in particular. Once you are done, you can click the Done button and then proceed to create the plan. The test plan section shows you when the test plans were created, updated, their runtime, and the cases included. You might be wondering, where does the runtime come from? Well, it comes from previous performances of those test cases included in the plan. Case records this data, keeps the historical information about how long it took in the previous runs and previous performances to do those test cases, and gives you an estimation based on that. You can also see how many test cases are in these test plans. The three dots button gives you the option to view, edit, export, or delete it. Let's take a look at one of these test plans. You can see right on top of this that a test run can be started from here. You can also filter or search for test cases if you have lots of test cases within a test plan. When starting a test run from the test run section, you also can select from a test plan and then go through the available options to select any of your existing test plans. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.